Welcome to Brad's YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to make a BTLD or boot time loadable floppy diskette on SCO Open Server 5. First thing you want to do is make sure you have a floppy in the drive and not write protected. So what we're going to do today is here's my image. It's a BTLD.IMG. That's the image that we're going to put on the floppy that has my drivers in it. In this case, BLAD and ALAD drivers. So the first thing we want to do is format the floppy. So we're going to do format space minus V as in Victor space the device name. In this case, slash dev slash RFD 0135DS18. And this might take a couple minutes. and make sure it will ask you to have the floppy in the drive and press enter when we're ready. This format process will go to, I believe it's 79 tracks total. And once the format is done, it'll do a quick verification. All right, once the format is complete, we want to, we're going to write the image to the disk. We're going to do that with using the command dd. dd space if stands for input file equals our image, which is right here. Space of stands for output file equals in this case, we'll just do dev fd0 space bs for the block size equals 18k. This will take a couple minutes, a couple moments, sorry.
once it's done formatting, you'll get this kind of output message saying 80 records in, 80 records out, and then you'll get back to a pound sign. Once you're back to a pound sign, we want to verify that the write was successful. First, we want to do a sum minus r on the original image and get the number. And then we want to compare that to a sum minus r on the floppy drive and make sure they match. So sum space minus r space slash dev slash fd0. This won't take long. It should echo back some output here in a moment. <clears throat> Alright, and when the numbers come back, if they match the original file, then we know we have a good successful write. And you made a successful BTLD floppy on scope and server 5.